Frank Music City, live from Liberty Hall in the historic factory at Franklin. Music City Roots is on the air. You better believe it. Oh, Indy Roots rock from Nashville, a Milwaukee transplant whose songs tell stories. Makers of country and blues music who are wise and skilled beyond their years. Oh, it's going to be a good night. Four sets, four chances to discover something new in the world of roots and Americana music. And guiding us through this musical journey, I hate to disappoint you, but Jim Lauderdale's not here tonight. But standing in for him, one of the honchos at the Country Music Hall of Fame, singer, songwriter, guiding us through this musical journey. What was your name again? Peter Cooper, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Bilbrey. It's a Hall of Fame broadcaster right there. You wouldn't know it by that introduction, but seriously, yeah. He used to be really good. Um, uh, I am over at the Country Music Hall of Fame during the daytimes, and we're super excited about yeah. something that y'all might be super excited about as well, which is that uh, we've just announced our artist in residence. Uh, he will come on December 5th, December 12th, and December 19th to the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum's CMA Theater. And um, tickets go on sale Friday morning at 10, and uh, his name is Jason Isbell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're pretty proud of that. So look out. And so uh, I'm going to bring you something new in Roots Music. Here's a brand new song. Um, somebody asked me what the prettiest thing I ever saw was, and, and I think it was the 1982 Atlanta Braves double play combination of Rafael Ramirez to Glenn Hubbard to Chris Chambliss. And um, then there was this girl I knew in high school, too. <laughs> and this is a song about all that. It's called Beautiful Seasons. Ramirez to Hubbard to Shambliss. Taylor made double play. Like a charm, like a gift in the top of the fifth. In July on the red Georgia clay. Ramirez to Hubbard to Shambliss The loveliest hardball ballet And I still can recall Though I can't see it all Through the eyes that watched them on that day And I mourn for the loss of the moment The departure of what once was grand The precarious nature beautiful seasons I wish I did not understand well, Glen Echo was swirling around us Night air bright as could be Disbelief to suspend An accordion wind You were walking with me Glen Echo was swirling around us Summertime Jubilee And I still can recall Though I can't feel it all Through a heart that was beating so free And I mourn for the loss of the moment The departure of what once was grand Precarious nature of beautiful seasons I wish I did not understand So I saw you that night in Northampton Your dark hair flecked with gray my heart like a wheel that was not yours to steal Though it knew that you always held sway I saw you that night in Northampton My mind drifted away Ramirez to Hubbard to Shambliss Table made double play And I felt in the weight of the moment the departure of what once was grand The precarious nature of beautiful seasons I wish I did not understand The precarious nature of 
beautiful seasons I wish I did not understand. Thank you. I still got to figure out that I'm not getting paid by the word, Keith. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, folks. Thank you so much. Welcome to Music City Roots. It is great to see you here in the factory. And we want to say a big hello to all our friends and family tuning in over the airwaves of WMOT and watching on our video webcast. Music City Roots started uh, as and always will be a radio show first and foremost. And that means we have a great radio announcer to announce all of our announcements. And he does it so well, please give a hand for Keith Bilbrey. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, Peter, speaking of the Hall of Fame, uh, we were both down there Sunday night for the Medallion Awards. And that is, was one of the greatest medallion awards that i've ever seen i mean they're all great but it was it was a great moment it was pretty special that's the official formal induction of the new country music hall of fame members and we have folks come out and sing and play for them and, and loretta was, lynn showed up to present well, alan jackson it was loretta just, lynn blessed the place yeah, oh man and told alan jackson that um that he deserved to be in the hall of fame and he got up there and just well if she said it then <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all you is. need Hey, over here on stage, right, that's your left, is a man who is often right. And if he doesn't know, he'll do the old-fashioned noble thing and refer you to his attorney. Uh, this is our interview guy, Mr. Craig Havoghurst. Yeah. way out of everything, folks. If you don't know, I'm cheap. Good to see everybody. Peter, it's a great song. You're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the best baseball songwriter since Steve Goodman, brother. Oh, yeah. you, you, you write some mean baseball songs. Knows the game. I think you're a sports writer disguised as a music journalist songwriter. Uh, you know, life takes funny turns, but glad you're able to still get the, the baseball stories in. Uh, let's see. Get to say welcome to you all here to the, another night at the factory in our fall season in 2017. We uh, say thanks to our partners like Soul Shine Pizza, who bring food over hot and fresh for the crew every, uh, day, every Wednesday while, while the crew puts up the, this uh, elaborate set that we've been using now for all these years here at the factory. We want to say thanks to them. And tonight we're saying a special thank you to uh, friends and especially members of WMOT Roots Radio. How's the membership appreciation party going up there on the upper decks? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you all for being part of our family. Uh, we'll be uh, reminding you through the night, as we've been reminding you all week on the air, that it, we're in our fall pledge drive at WMOT. It's listener-supported public radio, and uh, we would encourage all of you guys to become members, too. And uh, WMOT.org has all the information, but we also have folks floating around with WMOT t-shirts here tonight, and uh, they'd be happy to answer any questions you have but it's great public service. The music is uh, superb all week long, thanks to Jesse Scott's brilliant program direction. Music you cannot hear anywhere else. And we also are proud of our live programming, including this show and a lot of other uh, stuff that happens during the week and special events, and you, we'd love to have you be part of that as members. On tap tonight in the Blackstone Brewery lineup, a fellow that's uh, on tour in America, but he's all the way from uh, the Isle of Man in, in, uh, yeah, off the coast of England, between England and Ireland. Always wanted to go there. Sounds just like a, it's a beautiful place. And his name is Davey Knowles, and he's a guitar hotshot. Give Davey a round of applause. <laughs> this guy, is he's a uh, guitar phenomenon. Can't wait to hear him. Uh, an indie rock band from Nashville with some folk overtones and a uh, rapid trajectory upward since forming five years ago. Blank Range is here, folks. Yeah. And returning to Music City Roots after three years before she was 10, now she's 13, but you cannot believe the country artistry of Emmy Sunshine. I know if some of you come to see Emmy Sunshine. Yeah. Some Emmy partisans in the house. And what's up first, Peter? Well, I'll tell you, but first I, I will remind everyone it is, it is Pledge Week, and uh, as you were just talking about. So it's important. This is the week to show support. Keith Bilbrey, your last Pledge Week, as I understand, you were being paddled by upperclassmen. That's, but, yeah, that's that, what it was. That was yeah. a whole different thing. Okay. <laughs> Well, here on stage now is an artist who made his way to Nashville as part of a mini exodus of Milwaukee musicians. They come here usually in the months of January and February. 
Um, I myself am a member of the Sheboygan, Wisconsin Elks Lodge, and that is not a joke, so I spend lots of time up there. Uh, it did not take this guy long to impress his colleagues and land slots on great tours and stages. His new EP, Lost and Found, absolutely sealed the deal. This is an artist to watch, so let's watch him and let's listen to him and let's welcome him, Hugh Masterson. <laughs> Thank you very much. When I'm not playing music, I build uh, cabinets, and I, I notice there's a lady here that we build cabinets for. How you doing? Thanks for coming. Nice to see you. I didn't have to go to work today. Beat up just walking around town. I hold my head up, hostile on the ground. I don't know why I came here, don't know what I'm fighting for. Somebody to show me the door. Yeah, somebody let me go. I made a big mistake.
somewhere in the middle of the lost and found You can unhand off your will to lay it down and die for it You can unhand off somehow I'm somewhere in the middle of the lost and found I'm somewhere in the middle of I did move down here from Milwaukee, Wisconsin about three years ago, but truth be told, I'm from northern Wisconsin, a small little town named Butternut. It's about 300 people. I'm the only person that ever left town, I'm pretty sure.
population in my review I got no This song with my friend Brian Elmquist that plays with the Lone Bellow. It's called Small Town. Would you let me down easy if you've had enough? I'll take my chances even for love some good love Last night we met at the bar You held my hand kissing me in the dark Good love I'm waiting on good love You and me, that's what I'm dreaming of you and me, I'm never getting up So holding on to a young man's dream But it's a small town We were young, we could do anything I took that job and I gave you Song for you. A 
appropriately called leaving. I didn't think of that. Next time I will. Be good because uh, I saw that uh, showbud show guitar yes. designed kind of to look like the ones that Lloyd Green uh, uh -huh. plays, and thought, well, this is this is going to be good. It's going to be a good was. night. Yeah. I know my mic's not working. I don't know. Your mic's not. Would you like to use my mic? Well, no, there it is. Yes, yes, I noticed that showbud immediately. You knew I would. Yeah, that was that was nice, nice. Well, the whole thing was nice. I enjoyed it. Did you did you enjoy some? Puckett's food tonight? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. It's a uh, good golly. It's as, good. As Bill Monroe was, would say, that's some powerful blackberry cobbler there. That's right. Oh, he, good stuff. He also said, 
You can't hurt ham. That's right. <laughs> and Ricky Skaggs made a song out of it. Well, we want to thank Puckett's for feeding our crew and artists tonight. They're feeding our live audience at concessions also. Puckett's is on a mission to spread that southern comfort food all across the state of Tennessee. Find locations in Nashville, Franklin, Columbia, Chattanooga, and now in the borough, Murfreesboro. More information can be found at Puckett'sGRO.com. Now, I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors from Star 129 Diamond, available exclusively here in Nashville at Diamond Outlet. Bob and Helen Forrester, proprietors of Forrester's Diamond Outlet, have donated a beautiful Larimar, is that a, did I say that right? Larimar? Larimar pendant from the Dominican Republic, mounted on a silver chokerel. Retail value, $379, and Allie here is wearing it. It never looked better than it does on Allie, I guarantee you. You can see a picture up on the screen and in the program, and right there, uh, Allie's modeling it for us. Everyone donating this week is automatically entered in a drawing to win this beautiful necklace. So uh, you, you might want to check that out. You can learn more about Diamond Outlet and the Star 129 Diamond at diamondoutlet.com or star129.com. Now, I know that uh, we have our, our members up at a special invitation-only party up in the, what do we call that, the loft, the balcony, whatever. Uh, but if you didn't get invited, it's because you're not a member. But I can remedy that. If you're a member, just go upstairs right now, join, and you'll be in the drawings for tonight's giveaways, including that beautiful necklace that Allie is wearing. So check that out. As a matter of fact, I think we've already drawn a winner for something, haven't we, Greg? There's, there's more than one winner. I got okay, a, I got a little list of names to rattle off, so everybody pay attention, you members up there. You guys can slide on over to the uh, the prize table. Abby will meet you there and collect these uh, collect your prize. I'm not sure what they are, but I can tell you that Frank Kelly ought to go over there. Matt and Brianna Bercy, Gloria Wilhelm, Philip Zimmerman, Riley Richardson, Deborah Wilbrink, Lee Speaker, Ginny David, Cindy Borberly, and Peggy Bassford. I feel like a game show host, and I've just given away a whole bunch of stuff. Thanks so much to New West Records and Concord Records, Plowboy Records, Compass, and 30 Tigers for donating tonight's prizes. Go over there and meet Abby at the prize table. And enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll be checking in with you later. A big round of applause for the winners. Moving on to a conversation with a fellow who's going to close the night, really interested in getting to know him. He's, uh, there we go. That sounds better. <laughs> um, tremendous guitar player and getting a lot of attention from some heavyweights and touring America now. Please welcome Davey Knowles to the stage. Hi, Davey. Hello. Thank you. What kind of what kind of tour are you on, or a long a long stay, short stay? In the in it's, it's been about ten years. You, so you are, you're a permanent resident. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, right, it's kind of the perma tour now. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, let's get the story about what made it possible for you to uh, launch over here and get established. Uh, but maybe first, I would hear about you grew up in the Isle of Man, which probably has a, a unique lifestyle, and uh, and it, there it is in the you know Irish Sea, yeah, little cut off from the rest of the world in some ways. It very much so, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a tiny little island right in between England and Ireland, um, kind of famous for a motorcycle race, and the Bee Gees are from there. There we go. There we go. So it's, yeah, it's good. You either have to apologize for that, or uh, both are awesome, or, or boast about it. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, yeah, I grew up on the island. It's a beautiful place, and um, kind of grew up on old British blues records like John Mayall and the Blues Break and Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac and Rory Gallagher and, and people like that and um, got very, very lucky and ended up coming to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Uh, um, yeah, hey. Yeah. Um, at um, 2007 and, and got kind of lucky and, um, moving around, getting on tours and playing from there, really. Was that the plan? Was that the hope? Like, man, what if I could dig, <laughs> make this a one-way ticket? Absolutely, yeah. yeah, of course it was. Yeah, I mean, this is where the music I loved came from and right. uh, you know originally and then kind of coming to mecca really aren't you who had the record collection or the exposure uh, that you were able to uh, bask in that music definitely between my dad and my older sister so uh, with dad i was kind of getting the, the kind of more rock blues stuff and my older sister was big into Joni mitchell and crosby stills nash and young and the songs yeah just absolutely that kind of folk movement out of laurel canyon so it was a good musical education. 
Well, how'd you get the guitar? What, what got you ta- <laughs> What got you started, and how did you kind of negotiate your relationship with the instrument? It was Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits. Dog, it's such a great, yeah. <laughs> such a great I feel tune. You. Oh, and I think uh, I, I heard that when I was 11, and just decided that from that moment on I was going to do everything I could to become Mark Knopfler. You know, <laughs> well, that's still the goal, really. Go out and get a headband. But, um, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the big introduction. And a lot of encouragement. Um, yeah, places to play locally. Do you have a chance oh, to kind yeah. of make it happen? Definitely, it's a great music scene. Even though it's a, a tiny place, so many great musicians and and uh, a lot of people that really took me under their wing over there and playing in the pubs. You know, there's no better way to do it than just keep playing and playing. Yeah. What about setting yourself apart from the sound and style of your heroes? You know, they say you got to oh. start by imitating and then. And gradually your own voice emerges. Did anybody give you some advice or is there a setting that made that possible for you? Well, I mean, I'm still trying to do that. I think that's an ongoing lifetime thing, but um, I think the big thing is it comes from your writing. I mean, if it's great to play a bit of guitar and practice and, you know, get some scales down and stuff, but uh, it comes from the song and it comes from writing and maybe that's where your influences get combined and a little bit more gets added in, maybe. That's the, that's the goal. How did you balance that with classic songs you wanted to cover and work into your repertoire? Well, I, I mean, I, I just wanted to. I just really loved the idea of writing and hopefully someone hearing it, liking it. You know, that, that's, I mean, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Quite a few records out. The, current, the most recent, I think you mentioned to me, is Three Miles from Avalon. Yes, sir, yeah. What's the style that that one uh, takes on and what's the story behind the Avalon? It's a Mississippi town, right? Ah, <laughs> it's, it's an Arthurian legend. Um, ah. The islands that couldn't be found. And, and it really, it's kind of a bit more of a, a metaphor of um, things just being just out of your grasp kind ah. of thing. But, um, yeah, it, it's a blues rock record, you know, uh, and I wanted to make it in a 70s style, all to tape, all analog, and as live as possible, because those are the records that I love. So, right. Yeah. Those bands often have, almost always had keyboards, too. Absolutely. Organ yeah. and a great fat bed to yeah. play over, right? Yeah, definitely. Having a great rhythm section. and You have a pretty big <laughs> yeah. band that you're working with uh, on the road, isn't it? I mean, oh, five, yeah. a five piece? Well, we're all on a diet, but we're getting better. <laughs> but... Um, no, uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, four-piece four band. Four-piece four band, piece. Yeah. all right. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you, and I can't wait to hear this. I mean, we, the, 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 the blues is the great ongoing, you know, it, it, you think, how can there be a new voice, a new, a new feeling, and, you know, a new, something new to say mm-hmm. in a, uh, an idiom that's that old, and in some ways, you know, it's, it, there's, the, there's the formula, and then there's the, the departing from the formula is where it all sure. gets exciting, right? Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a folk music. It's a music yeah. of the people. It's constantly evolving, and so any, any music should. Great. Well, great to have you here at Music City Roots, and we'll Thank see you, you play later. Davy Knowles, everyone, one more time. Over there in the dark, stage left, I'm sure, I'm trusting, is Allie Sutton. There she is. Hi, Allie. Here. Take it Hello, away, girl. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited. It's time for a word from our sponsor, Fieri Chili. Like the good days and the old days When the leaves begin to fall the ground Football time, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama Let's make enough chili to go around Yeti chili Yeti chili sure sounds good to me We'll cook it slow and eat it fast Another can better make it last Yeti chili sure sounds good to me Chili show sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Now back to the show, Mr. Peter Cooper. Thank you. That was so. I really feel like that could be up for an Emmy for best seasonal chili song and performance. Um, y'all, I first uh, became aware of this lady standing next to me about five years ago when she was eight years old, and I turned on the Today Show, national television, and they were having uh, her play, and they were interviewing her, you know, because it was pretty remarkable to see somebody that precocious, that great at age eight, and they, uh, you know, said, so, young lady, who's, who, who are your favorite singers? And they, they expected you to say, I think, Carrie Underwood or Taylor Swift or somebody like that, and Amy looks right at them and goes, uh, Buddy Miller. <laughs> I thought, I like her, I want to listen to her, and uh, I have been for a long time. She's 13 now, has three albums out, has played the Grand Ole Opry a bunch of times, writes songs, sings beautifully, 
and is uh, part of a band that plays all over the country. Uh, just listen to her. This is Emmy Sunshine. Just, uh, absolutely, yeah. I'm just so happy to be here again. Are y'all happy to be here? Yes. Yes. Well, guys, this next song I'm going to do for y'all, this is one called, uh, well, this is one called Ragged Dreams. This is actually the title track of my brand new album, Ragged Dreams. We're going to do it for you real quick while I'm stalling my tune. So, uh, here you go.
song that I read about autism. Do you think I'm crazy? Is there something wrong with me? Well, I don't want to be angry. I ain't trying to be. Oh, my heart's racing 90 miles down the street. Oh, I'm sitting still. Everything's moving but my feet Oh, I'm sitting in your classroom I'm in your pew at church I think my mom always fine
church You think my mama always spite me Well, I don't discipline my work Oh, you see me in the grocery With my head between my knees Oh, tell me, do you think I'm crazy? Is there something wrong with me? Tell me, do you think I'm crazy? Is there something wrong with me? He sits on the back of his pickup Looking out at the fields he's sown Proud of the work he's accomplished And all of the rows he has home He used to dream of being a cowboy like the ones you'd see on TV But he let it all fade like the pictures That she hides from his memories So go on and buy you a big house Two cars and a big nice good ranch And thank her for all these people Who's American dream was alive He was injured in a local steam plant Now he wanders the house on the hay Not really sure of his purpose It's hard living on a workman's comp pay His wife died in lack of insurance Should really be thankful to the ACs to all of his mates. I got a buddy who lives up in Boston. Had a wife lost her leg in a race. She was getting close to the finish when her dreams blew up in our face. They lost their house in the suburbs Never living under a bridge He spends a sign for the local tax company And putting money in Uncle Sam's plate This American dream that they promised Didn't work out too good for that man So go Two cars and a big nice garage And thank of all these people Whose American dream was alive This country was founded on truth and on God With mercy and brotherly love Turn back to the old past when America shot Goodbye. Hey, thank of all these people.
Oh, no, that's my grandfather out there saying all this stuff. He says he needs to heckle me while I'm on stage to give me tough skin. Yeah. Where, where do you Whatever get that, that means. Where did he get that he, uh, headband? That's sweating the old It is, is that... actually. No, I'm kidding. Um, that's one of our headbands, actually. So, guys, we're going to do y'all one more song. We want to thank you for listening to us tonight. And thank you guys for having us back on again. We yeah. love Mrs. Kitty Roots. Thank you. Yeah. Down to bats on a rouge to ease my worry mind. Head down to bats on a rouge. Maybe I'll go tonight. Maybe I'll go tonight. I've been here in Knoxville town with my Danny Ray. Forgot how Lucy. In the month of May Oh, now In the month of May You're standing here at the factory in Franklin. Every time I see her, I just... Uh, Could she, you sing she, like that at, at She at just 14. knocks me out. Yeah. 
Uh, no, I couldn't sing like that, but also she literally knocks me out. She just oh. actually has got a good left hook. Um, it's kind of embarrassing sometimes. Man, that was something else, Keith yeah. Bilbrey. That was Amazing. wild. Um, it, 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 it hit me so hard, I, I've forgotten where I am and over what airwaves my voice is uh, appearing. I was hoping you could help with a classic uh, station. Are you confused I- again? Yeah. Yeah, you could help with a classic station ID. Well, all right. I will remind you and everyone else that you're listening to Roots Radio 89.5 WMOT, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Franklin, Americana, deep and wide. And please remember, this is very important to support public radio. Find your way to WMOT.org and press the donate button or find them right here on site tonight. As little as $5 at $10 a month can go a long way for us. And it can get you invited to private members events like the ones going on upstairs tonight. Yeah, those folks are having a great time. We're giving away prizes. Now listen up. If you're not a member, go upstairs. You can join this very night and you'll be in the drawings for tonight's giveaways. Uh, and we, I think we have some more winners right now. Don't we, Craig Havakurst? We do, Keith Bilbrey. More winners. The list is in my hot little hand. I hope I can pronounce everybody's names right. So everybody, pay attention. You're only going to hear this once. Angela Merchant, Kimberly Bussey, David Drummond, Phila Chandler, Julie Grauer, R.J. Cormer, Courtney Basford, Kurt Musfeld, Gary Largent, and Stacy Satchel. Thank you for playing, and thank you for being a member of WMOT. Go collect your prizes with Abby at the prize table. We appreciate you guys. All right. Loved your set opening up the show, sir. Please welcome back to the stage Hugh Masterson. Thank you. Nice. Ah, the journey to Nashville from small town Wisconsin. I love it. What was it called? Buttercup? Uh, Butternut. Butternut. Yes. I just always imagine, you know, 147 years ago, a little committee of people gathered around a little candle and going, what do we call the town? I know. Do you have an, is there a story? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I really don't understand. I have no idea why my family would move that far north to begin with. Uh, <laughs> uh, winters are very long. It's hard to uh, grow enough food to get through the winter. I don't wow. get it. I don't understand. That's why I came down here. And then you realize there's a whole country north of there and you're like, what are they thinking? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Well, uh, the journey from, so you, you, you alluded to you know, leaving the small town, what is the uh, there, we kind of the easy part of that is is easy to imagine. Well, there must be some downsides. There must be some things that you you kind of have to leave behind uh, that are valuable, and and maybe it led to some songs, some stories, some thoughts. Absolutely. I mean, I grew up. Uh, my family probably had a couple hundred acres of land, and it was by uh, county forest land. And we grew up in the woods. We only had two neighbors, so. We grew up um, peeling popple and uh, cutting boughs to make Christmas uh, wreaths and um, picking mushrooms and making um, maple syrup. And oh, really cool. Yeah, it was yeah. just uh, spent a lot of time with our family and um, it was beautiful and life was slower and the days were longer and uh, maybe a little less confusing in some ways right. too. What about music? Did, uh, did that play a role in that quiet life? There, there wasn't a lot. We had a, a band that would play once or twice a year in Butternut. Uh, at the Pioneer Days, they were a polka band. Yeah. And it was uh, Weird Al Yankovic's uncle, Frankie. Frankie <laughs> hey, he's a, big, he's a big deal. <laughs> we thought so. Yes. <laughs> and then when did you start writing songs and get yourself to Milwaukee and start leading the life of a country rocker? Uh, well, I played in a few different bands um, while I was in college. I, I moved down to Milwaukee for college and... Um, I played bass or guitar and never really sang, was always kind of uh, shy, and I, I thought I could sing, but a lot of people are like, think they can sing, you know, especially like in the car, they think they can sing, but I really thought I could, and I thought I had stuff to write about, and so after years of um, doing it, uh, I just started writing songs, and I wrote a song, and I played it for one of the bands I was in, and they thought it was good, and they wanted to right. be in the band, okay. um, and then they told me the hardest part is writing a second song. So uh, I think in the next two weeks, I just woke up every morning and drank coffee and wrote the rest of the album because nice. I, I was like, if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. And I was really intimidated by it. Excellent. And what are your thoughts about how your songwriting and change evolved, moving to Nashville, being part of the East Nashville scene, and that first batch? 
You know, I, I think the only difference, I still think about home actually when I write and uh, the things that I've been through. Um, but the difference now, the guy that was drumming with me, Justin Glasgow, um, I get to just go over to his house and we get to write songs and uh, it happens really fast. Um, right. And it's creative, and it's a back and forth, um, and it's I don't you know I don't fight a song for two three years and like pick it up every once in a while. It's like you get it done that same day, and that's really nice. All right, the the work ethic from the woods, I guess maybe. Uh, what are your observations about Nashville as a community and and uh, the music mecca? And curious what I'm always curious what people's kind of impressions and thinking what they will find, what what it's going to feel like, and, and what the reality is. Well, I knew a lot about it before I moved here. I had been coming here um, off and on to write songs with other people, for other people, okay. and um, playing shows with my band. Uh, my middle name is Robert, so back home everyone calls me Hugh Bob, and I had a band called Hugh Bob and the Hustle, and we thought that was pretty cute. Uh, but we would come down here and play shows sometimes. So, and I knew a lot of people, and, and for me, being a musician, uh, this is where I wanted to come because I was in Milwaukee for 15 years and if I was gonna go anywhere and, and I was focused on music, it seemed like this is the place I would come and a lot of friends were here and um, yeah, I guess it just made sense to be here. Was, is and was country music, the traditional genre, the core genre, a big f part of your fascination and your guiding light or, or just a, a flavor among many that Nashville happened to have a history in? I think camaraderie, being around like-minded people that are musicians and also uh, creative people. I grew up, um, you know, we had my dad's records, my mom's records, um, and we had uh, a little radio station that came off of the Indian Reservation mm -hmm. and uh, NPR, and that's where we heard music. Um, unless I found a Bruce Springsteen cassette tape after a tornado came through one time. That was a big deal. Uh, that's not a joke either. That's that was... the greatest. Like, what's this piece of... <laughs> yeah, wow. absolutely. It was a big deal. Um, and then I had an uncle that would come up from Chicago, and he would drop off tapes. He would make tapes for us, and a, he really liked John Hyatt, so a lot of John Hyatt and uh, Lucinda Williams, um, stuff like that, Little Feet, um, stuff that we thought was really cool even as kids. Good, we got, got exposed to the good stuff early on. Didn't have to waste a lot of time I think so. with nonsense. Uh, just before we go, any thoughts about uh, what's coming up in the next few months? We're in for 2018, got plans, got tours, got things you wanna tell folks about? Yeah, I'm gonna be on tour with a band called The Contenders. Um, on the 8th of November, I'll be in Boston and out for a while and heading back to the Midwest. And then in December, I'll be out for uh, two or three weeks playing house shows, trying to get closer to people in Wisconsin. Uh, sometimes when you leave, they they have this idea that you've gone away and you think you're a bigger deal than you are. <laughs> That's not me, and uh, I'm not making a lot of money, you know. So I want to go back and just show people that I'm uh, I'm just the same as I ever was. Gonna go have some Lane and Google and uh, some <laughs> cheese curds and uh, hang out. Absolutely. Good. I hope they have a cheese. It's a good lifestyle up there. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. All right. Hugh Masterson, pleasure to meet you. Thanks a lot for Thank joining so us much. on our, our show of shows. Uh, moving on with uh, music, Peter Cooper, I'll tell you about the next artists. Yeah, I, I, I will tell you about our next artist, but the thing is, I'm, I've, I've been worried, you know, as this temperature has shifted, uh, it's, it's lowered out, so it started feeling a little more like Wisconsin, like butternut. Um, Keith, do you have any advice? Oh, I do. Just call our friend Roscoe Brown. You Roscoe better believe Brown? It. Speaking of support, we'd like to welcome one of WMOT's newest supporters who happen to be joining us here at the show tonight. A big hello to Beth Brown and the team from Roscoe Brown. Let's give them a big hand. Yeah. You know, for more than 75 years, the experts at Roscoe Brown have done more than give individuals and businesses the finest in home comfort. They've given them peace of mind. Nothing is worse. It turns cold. You turn the thermostat on and nothing happens. Don't want that. Heating, cooling, plumbing, insulation, drains, geothermal. Yep, they do that. Roscoe Brown has offices in Nashville, Murfreesboro, Tullahoma, and McMinnville, serving 25 counties in Tennessee. You can learn more by calling 1-800-MY-ROSCOE or clicking roscoebrown.com. Isn't that a neat name, Roscoe Brown? That, yeah. you ought to, 
You ought to turn that into a song. Well, it's a great name for sure, but I mean, the thing is, that I, I may, if I call them, maybe I won't have to sleep with six blankets. Uh, there you go. Tomorrow night. Something to think about. Yeah, that is. It's something I was thinking about this morning. What am I going to do? So yeah. now I know. Now you know. Call Ross. It's so Brown. cool that they've joined the team. Yes, sir. What's going on uh, uh, musically here? Well, musically, what's going on is something pretty impressive. Uh, one of my favorite music journalists is a, a lady named Marissa Moss. She's, uh, she gets it. And she wrote recently uh, in Rolling Stone that this band that's up here with me now was fearless. Now, that's not entirely true. There, there's uh, actually um, bass players scared of dentists and bees. But uh, musically, they're fearless. She wrote that they were very much a product of Music City's talent, Hot House. They recently released their first full-length album, Marooned with the Treasure. Now, what does that mean? Let's find out. Put your hands together for Blank Range. To rise into its opportunity A 
Go rush in that slave ship, walk together down the main strip, and in literature the blind red gather for a meal but the postman don't work for free oh at least that's what they claim to be oh a messenger is a messenger no matter if they shoot or run oh you can't be the last one to know oh it seems like we're far around oh you can't Parental moral debt protects its own against all threats to liberty, security, and words of certain kinds. For well, the matchmakers are praised for the omnipotent ancient ways of pointing out the rainbows out oh, just after the storm. Oh, you can't be the last one to know. It seems like we're. Oh, you can't deny the song Pronounce sorrow in the face of man of constant borrow loyalty to language as if tattooed on their arms like a curbside gutter drain. Oh, a sentence can't catch everything. An American commandments are wearing on the stone. You can't deny the sound. Thank you.
It's our first time at Music City Roots. We're very happy to be here. Thank you for having us. And these songs are all for our new record. It's called Maroon with the Treasure. We hope you like them. It's a two year anniversary. Flip a coin, or I ask your face. I never noticed, so I collect and make a place for the few that seem a bit suspicious to be marooned with the treasure. Tree. ever gonna be
There's still a stone here left unturned Another bridge that I have yet to burn So please don't pack your bags and move on yet Won't you surrender for the night? I've all but lost my will to fight You flexed your muscles and displayed your might Now please, won't you surrender for the night? Take a moment and be still Just close your eyes and take your sleeping pill But please don't pack your bags and move on yet Don't pack your bags and move on yet your bags and move on yeah. and if you choose to let this die the tears will spill out of my eyes but I care for you much more than you and I so please do what you will I will comply do what you will I will comply Thank you very much, you guys. What a pleasure it is to be here and play these new songs for you. We got one more. This one's called By My Side.
waiting expansive, gritty, lovely stuff. Keith Bilbrey, speaking yes, of loveliness, yes. how are you doing? I want his uh, jacket. I, I love that French jacket. I, that I don't is. believe you're man enough to get his jacket. I don't think I am either. Yeah, no, nah, that's all right. I, I'll just No, and it. I don't believe that jacket wants Keith to try it on. <laughs> I always loved Fringe. I, I don't wear it well, but you're right. But, well, Music City Roots receives support for That's this great. broadcast from businesses that are leaders in our community, like Ascend Federal Credit Union, the preferred credit union of MTSU Athletics. Ascend offers convenient online account access, bill payment, and statements with an app to access your accounts on the go. Visit ascendfcu.org to register for e-services from Ascend. Ascend Federal Credit Union, raising possibilities. Ascend's federally insured by the NCUA. Membership is limited. And Acceptance Auto Insurance, who not only support our nationwide PBS television series, they also underwrite Acceptance Morning Ride with our witness, Whit Ubner. I don't know if Whit's still here or not. He was here early, but he's got to get up real early in the morning, so we'll let him go. Weekdays, 6 to 9 a.m., with 12 offices around Middle Tennessee and 400 across the country, wherever your song takes you, Acceptance has you covered. Learn more at acceptance.com. You, your terms, accepted. Now, I want to remind you, this is, uh, I guess, the last chance to do this. If you're not a member yet, go upstairs. You folks here in the audience, join, and you'll be in the drawings for tonight's giveaways. Now, you folks listening in, if you want to know how to become a member, well, you just go to WMOT.org, and we will fix you up. There's a donate button, and it's so easy. Now, over to the uh, chat room. It's, it's and the prize Craig. corner tonight. The buddy. prize corner. Yeah, it's Game Show Central, and I get to call out and some Craig, more. And Craig, what have we got for them tonight? <laughs> this is good. Family feud. Uh, folks, we've got one more round of winners upstairs, so check check out the table. Rosemary Sarver, K.C. Huff, Steve Timmerman, Glenn Sengstack. I think I got that right. Our good friend Helen Hoyt won a prize. Jackie Timmerman, Karen Houston, and Stephen Hargrove. Thanks, y'all. That's our prizes for the evening. And let's give the folks who are members a big round of applause because they are supporting. They're stepping up to support WMOT. Hope you'll become one, too. Thanks a lot. Now, that was a great set. While these guys are still maybe a little sweaty, a little out of breath, we still get to meet them. Folks, say hi to Jonathan Childers and Grant Gustafson from Blank Range. Hello. 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 Good stuff. 
You guys really focus on the vocals. A lot of attention. That wonderful, wonderful multiple, three and four part, you know, at least three part harmonies. Yeah, thanks. Was that a, was that a signature from the beginning? We want to sing together and make that, make that really the rousing front of the band? We wanted to sing together from the beginning, but we had to learn how to do it okay. uh, in the meantime, yeah. Uh, a lot of practice went into it, a lot of singing in alleys and bathrooms and, you know, hallways when we're on tour and... Uh, I think over the years we've really learned to blend with each other. Absolutely. That's nice. Can you describe kind of what was in, you know, so when a band forms and from your bio and kind of what happened with you guys and, you know, getting under the wing of uh, Grimy over there at uh, the basement and Road to Bonnaroo and a lot of great tours, the chemistry of the band came together quickly so people were noticing and giving you opportunities to play. Take us from the part where you guys knew each other and actually started playing music and why you think that worked out. Uh, we all grew up loving some of the same music, and I think that that's been really helpful for us. Uh, we have a common touchstone in songwriter-based classic rock uh, that we really enjoy. Grant? Are, we, are you taking him on the story after that? You're just picking that up like smooth, so smooth and there? seamlessly. You got to take the mic and, yeah. So I then what happened? We were aligned in that sort of way, and... I don't know, serendipitous in a way. Did y'all meet in Nashville as newcomers to the city? We or? did. That's kind of a long story. Uh -huh. One of us is, is from the area. And the other three of Franklin. us are from, uh, exactly. The yeah. other three of us are from northern Illinois. We kind of, right. it was a, a trickle down about seven years ago. Uh -huh. But I met, uh, I met John when he was on tour with his college band. And they were coming through Nashville. We had an old mutual friend. Mm -hmm. And they stayed with me. And we just sort of hit it off, you know. And they moved down later that year, I think. Cool. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the, in, in the point about, you know, rehearsal and taking time and like knowing what you, <laughs> knowing what you want to really hone. You know, that's an interesting thing about bands. Everybody's got a kind of a different set of skill sets and, and ultimately you guys have a tone and it comes from the fact that the singing was really f a focus. Sure. Yeah. This has been molded very much over the years. You know, I don't know if we had a, uh, some sort of ideal yeah. at first, but we've grown together. Maybe that's the better way to put it. Okay. Well, talk about the basement and new faces and getting to play there and, and just kind of how that began to work because it is kind of one of the hubs of this town. Yeah, it was super hard to get on the bill to begin with. Uh, so we had to kind of beg and beg and plead. And then once we got on, Grimy was there and he really enjoyed the set. So he started throwing us on more bills and we would take any show we could possibly get. Mm -hmm. And that was really huge for getting out our name early on. Um, it gave us a lot of opportunities. Eventually we got a booking agent. We won that road to Bonnaroo. Yeah. That got us out on tour, and we've been able to tour the nation since then, playing a lot out of town. Road to Bonnaroo, to remind folks, uh, and to remind myself, is a round of, of uh, shows in clubs like Mercy Lounge, yeah. and that sort of some voting, and then somebody emerges as a winner, and then that band plays a daytime set at the festival, yeah. right? Yeah, so 2014, we got to play Bonner, which at that point in my life was not something I ever imagined would have happened. Yeah. So it was a big, it was a big thing for me and for us to get to be there uh, as artists. Yeah. And of the tours you've done, what's been the most sort of interesting, rewarding, or kind of just fun? Uh, we love going to the West Coast a lot. It's really, we've gotten to do it a lot over the last couple of years, and the scenery really touches home to us. Okay. Being out there, lots of long drives, but they're beautiful drives. Mm -hmm. um, and then just getting to be on the road with bands like we toured with the Wild Reeds for several months this year. Uh, it was just an incredible experience getting to know them and becoming like a family with them nice. while on tour. And then what led up to the album uh, Marooned with the Treasure? And you work with a guy named Brad Cook, who you might want to explain who that is. Uh, Brad Cook is a manager and producer. He works with His Golden Messenger and William Tyler from Nashville. Um, he just executive produced the War on Drugs record, the new one. Uh, he's a friend of ours uh, who we met through our booking agent, and he really dug our music too. So he's a friend and a fan, and he invited us out to North Carolina to record a record with him. Oh, okay. Last December, we had four days in the studio. Uh, we did it almost all live. Were um, you real clear on what it was going to be when you walked in the door? Yeah, close yeah. To we, finished? There's a lot of rehearsing that went on beforehand. We had all the songs written, and we really spent time together playing them mm -hmm. to make sure we knew what, wanted, what we wanted to have happen. 
So kids at home, practice more. There you go. Yeah, Never right practice there. enough. <laughs> I love it. Well, it's a fine, fine record and uh, wonderful melodies. Is there? What's the secret key of the of the title? I heard it in I heard it in the song "Labor of Love," right? Oh What's yeah, the, the title phrase. I'll leave it open to interpretation. It comes from reading much Herman Hess, maybe. Oh okay. That tips you off. All right, that'll work. That's a, that's a good cue. Uh, great. Guys, thanks a lot. Blank Range. Keep watching for him. That's a fine, fine band. Thank you. And we're going to take it on home with blues from the cradle of the blues in the Isle of Man. That's right. Go for it, Peter. That's what we're going to do. Well, this fella standing to, to my right is uh, way too nice and affable to be as good as he is. If I could play guitar like this, I'd be walking around surly and telling people not even to look at me. Um, American blues made its way to England in the 50s and 60s, and it, it never left there. Uh, this fine and celebrated artist, as Craig said, uh, hails from the Isle of Man, and he picked up on the legacies of Eric Clapton and Mark Knopfler and others, and has become the... Uh, well, he's become a great electric blues artist. This should be an exciting conclusion to our night, folks. Um, please make him welcome. We're so lucky to have him. Davy Knowles.
some funk we come out Guys are very kind. Uh, it's a uh, it's a real honour to be here. It really is uh, in an amazing part of the world, uh, an incredible amount of amazing music, and we feel very honoured to have shared the bill tonight with just some incredible musicians. It's uh, it really is an amazing. enough to work with one of my all-time heroes who, who actually lives in Nashville and uh, although he's from from further out my way um, a chap called Peter Frampton uh, yeah. this is a this is a song I recorded with him I hope you like hey you haven't played it yet 
<laughs> this is a this is a song called Coming Up for Air.
Mr. Andrew Toombs on the keyboards.
front end Lit it by the moonlight Blow my own wind Burning air And rode in front of him Circumstance Let him by faith Some kind of misunderstanding Let be so strange Down on his knees And reach out to the sky Said, Lord, I found your way Don't you show me Michael Kasky on the drums.
Davey Knowles. Davey Knowles and this band. Wow. Wow, look at the innovation. Man, Another standing that was here. worthy of as many standing ovations. It sure was. Sure was. Davey Knowles, y'all. Thanks, Davey. Fantastic. Thanks for being with us, everybody. What a good night. We got a jam coming up. One more song. I think you can probably guess who we're going to pay tribute to tonight. Unless plans have changed. I don't think they have. But uh, you've been listening to all this fun out there on the airwaves of WMOT 89.5 FM, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Franklin. Uh, thanks to the to the staff and crew at WMOT. I'm privileged to be part of the life of the station. And uh, please join us on the air just whenever you're driving around, whenever you're at home, and and uh, sample what is coming out of. A lot of it's coming out of Nashville, uh, but a lot of it's coming from the great Americana scene across the country. And uh, Jesse Scott's been doing such a great job of picking music for us and contribute. Send in emails. Let us know about bands you want to hear. We're really, it's really important. And uh, once again, for the final time tonight, I think, become a member of WMOT. We would really appreciate it and, and let your friends know because we're trying to hit a goal this week, rolling along till Saturday. And we're going to make it. Thanks to the artists on tonight's Blackstone Brewery lineup. My heavens. Hugh Masterson, Emmy Sunshine, Blank Range, and Davey Knowles, y'all. Yeah. Quality stuff. Yeah. And we're back next week. The month of November begins next Wednesday. It's November 1st. And uh, the lineup that night includes the uh, IBMA Songwriter of the Year, Donna Ulissi, a bluegrass songwriter who's just got a great touch with a song and a beautiful singer, so we haven't heard from her in a long time. Texas-born, national-based rocker Hannah Fairlight. Uh, the Memphis soul of Amy Black making a return to Music City Roots. And uh, Guthrie Brown will be here. So you know when it is, 7 p.m. Wednesday night, right here at the factory in Franklin. Keith Bilber, you had a good time tonight? Oh, I've had a great time. Do you have a succulent, jar-based, uh, sugary uh, spread that you would like to talk about, Yes, perhaps? I do. The Nashville Jam Company. They sponsor this last portion of our show. This is good stuff. Check it out. Tomorrow morning, I want you to know I'll be broadcasting live from 10 till noon at Freebirds World Burrito in Murfreesboro as we continue our pledge drive week. That's the closest Freebird ever came to this stage. That's right. And uh, I want you to come on by, enjoy a burrito, and uh, become a member. We're going to register for 10 people to win, listen to this, free burritos for a whole year. I'm talking scratch-made burritos the size of a Football, unbelievable. We'll look for you. Medical Center Parkway in the borough, Freebirds World Burrito. And now, looks like everybody's ready for the final jam. Please stand up and welcome Peter and our Nashville Jam. Peter, you've done a marvelous job tonight. Thank Big you, hand for sir. Peter Cooper. Thank you, Keith Bilber. I appreciate that coming from you. Uh, Keith, I'll tell you what, man. I've, I've had uh, three favorite fats in my life, and oh. one was uh, Minnesota Fats, who used to um, uh, used to school people at pool at the Hermitage Hotel here in, in Nashville, yes, and um, I was just a fan of his. I like to watch him take on Willie Moscone in, in epic uh, pool bouts. Another is a great friend of our show, and um, that is the multi-instrumentalist uh, Fats Kaplan, who has played with just about everybody and is a master of tone and intonation and, and fundamental decency. And um, my other favorite Fats um, left, uh, left the earth yesterday, um, and that's Fats Domino. Um, yeah. Absolute master of American roots music. And we, um, we, want to, uh, we want to send him off in our Music City Roots way. So uh, here's I'm Walking. Walking, yes indeed, and I'm talking about you and me, and I'm hoping that you'll come back to me. I'm lonely as I can be, and I'm waiting for your company. I said I'm hoping that you'll come back to me. What are you gonna do when the well runs dry? You gonna run away and cry? But I'm gonna run right by your 
inside For you pretty baby I'll even die I'm talking Yes indeed I'm talking As I can be and I'm waiting for your company and I'm hoping that you'll come back to me. Let's walk on to the chorus. What are you gonna do when the world runs dry? You gonna lay down and cry. When I say goodbye, all you gotta do is dry your eyes. Yes, indeed, I'm talking about you and me And I'm hoping that you'll come back to me I'm lonely as I can be And I'm waiting for your company And I'm hoping that you'll come back to me Music City Roots is a production of Hang Die Media. Executive producers John Walker and Todd Mayo want to thank everyone for bringing the extra love to WMOT this week. Let's finish out Pledge Week strong and show your support for the music and the magic. I'm Keith Bilbrey from the edge of Music City. Good night, everybody.